Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. What you are looking at here are six miles high towers that have recently been discovered on our moon. And they were found using the well-known software tool called Google Moon. And Google Moon, if you're new to the channel, if you've never used it, allows you uh, to visit our moon and actually fly down to the surface uh, where in which you are no longer just seeing two-dimensional maps taken by the lunar orbiter, uh, but you are now able to see the three-dimensional terrain, the data from which was collected by the various orbiters that are around the moon now and has been converted uh, into a three-dimensional map. So these towers here that you're seeing, six of them that I can find so far, are nothing more than a representation of the topography data that comes from NASA's own satellites that are up there circling the moon as we speak. And when you look at these things, I mean, they are towering, some of them nearly four miles high. And you may say to yourself, well, Tyler, these are probably just glitches, image glitches uh, on the software. To which I say, okay, that's a valid possibility. But when it comes to the idea of towers on the moon, and by towers, I'm talking artificial towers, as in they are not natural to the moon and they have been put there by someone or something. The idea of towers on the moon has been around for decades. This is nothing new. And it's been a highlight of ufology for years. Many people have spoken about the ancient alien structures that are said to be on the moon, these old bases that are now empty or possibly being still used, depending on who you talk to, that are all over the moon. And we've gone over this many times before, and you can go back and check my past videos to learn more. But suffice it to say, our moon is an enigma. Not only is its very existence a mystery, from its size uh, to the fact that it would seem almost completely hollow on the inside, to its strange orbit around our planet, and basically the fact that our moon is one of a kind. There is not one other moon in our entire solar system that looks or behaves like our own. And as I said earlier, the pieces of evidence for towers being on the moon are many. And I just want you guys to compare a, a photograph here. What you're seeing, and you've probably seen this before, is a photograph of the moon taken by the Soviet spacecraft Zond 3. And uh, this is a very mysterious photo because it's one of the earliest pieces of evidence that we have that provides a direct image and look into one of these towers that is seen sticking out of the side of the moon. Uh, they had snapped this picture at exactly the perfect angle as the spacecraft flew around it that we were able to catch a glimpse of such a massive miles high tower. And this was taken in 1965 where the Zond 3 space probe took some of the first ever high quality images of the far side of the moon where this tower is located. Some people have dubbed this the Tower of Babel and it's thought to be one of many of these mysterious ancient alien structures that scatter the moon. So I want you to look at this and I want you to compare it to one of these towers that we have found here on Google Earth. Just compare the two and look at the similarities. And then ask yourself again, are these really just glitches or is there something more to this? Moving forward, here is another image uh, taken from the Apollo 16 lunar landing mission. As they were orbiting the moon, they snapped this photo out of the window. And this is actually a seldom witnessed uh, photo in ufology but it demonstrates a couple of very anomalous things that tie in to this evidence of these towers. First, uh, we have a UFO captured above the surface that you're seeing here. And we'll go ahead and zoom in. And you know, we have these things have been seen all over the moon, all over. I can't count how many times and how many images and photographs from all of the various missions to the moon that we featured on the channel showing these anomalous unidentified objects hovering over the moon, passing by. But more interesting is what can be found sitting at the edge 
of this main crater, and what is unmistakably another one of these long, artificial-looking towers sticking up out of the lunar soil. And I will put the link to this down in the video description. This uh, extraordinary photograph that you're seeing here comes from uh, the Apollo 10 moon landing mission, where again, they were orbiting the moon, they snapped a photo, and within that photo was discovered what has now become known as simply the castle. And you can understand why, because we have here uh, yet another multiple mile high structure that simply looks like a castle. You can even see the pillars on this thing and its pyramid-like construction, starting off with three or four pillars at the bottom until we're down to just one. So we have this sort of artificial evidence of the stacking of these segments or pillars that completely defies a natural explanation. And it hasn't only been us lonely UFO researchers and tinfoil hat wearers that have discovered and spoken about these ancient towers. In fact, we have had some very reputable people who in the past worked for NASA, who have come out under the promise of testifying to Congress that they too witnessed these towers on the moon and were told to airbrush them out of official Apollo photographs before they were sold to the public. One of these people is a woman by the name of Donna Hare, and who has been pretty famous in the ufology community for a video clip where in which she spoke at a 2001 press conference for the Disclosure Project about what she saw. So this former NASA employee, Mrs. Hare, revealed how NASA managed to cover up and erase anomalies such as UFOs from satellite photos. She was a slide technician and received numerous space awards including the 1969 Apollo Achievement Award from the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. She also received a 1973 Skylab Award due to the success on the Skylab Soyuz test project and many other awards uh, for her skill as a technical artist, and she has spent most of her professional life involved with NASA and the space program as a technical illustrator. She drew lunar maps and worked in the photo lab, and not only did she witness photographs of UFOs both on the moon and above Earth in satellite imagery, but it was also explained to her the way in which these photographs and these anomalous structures were systematically airbrushed out. Another man by the name of Carl Wolf is yet another witness who has come forward to reveal that he also saw NASA photos being altered to erase anomalies on the moon's surface which were filmed from the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. At one point, he visited an area of Langley Air Force Base where he viewed 35mm film images being processed by NSA agents. He claims that he saw 35mm strips of film of the lunar surface. An officer told him that there was a moon base on the dark side of the moon, and that it was their job to erase them out of the picture before giving them to the public. And you've been seeing some of the earlier photographs taken by the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter showing these airbrush or smudge marks that clearly indicate the obscuring of structures on the moon, including multiple tower-like structures. So again, as uh, we go back to these six new towers located on the moon, of which I will put the coordinates down below, one can only ask that if these three-dimensional maps on Google Moon are taken from the exact data that was collected from the lunar orbiter, then the idea of glitches starts to fall apart. And let's say that these were glitches, I find it highly strange that we have never found any other glitches on the moon that take on any other shapes, whether it be strange square light glitches, or rectangular light glitches, or circular glitches, or random shapes that you would think would appear due to this glitching or data miscalculation. But we don't see that. All we see are these perfect towers that both in shape and length 
are corroborated and backed up by all of the other various lunar photographs and film footage. The airbrushing smudge marks seen on photographs where they've covered these things up, as well as the former military and ex-NASA personnel who have come forward and promised to testify in front of Congress under oath that these things do exist and that NASA and the government have been doing all that they can to cover them up and to publicly ridicule anyone who would question NASA or their official story or agenda. So, with that, of course, let me know what you guys think, and thank you all for stopping by today. Uh, this stuff really is truly interesting, and as I get back into the groove of posting videos daily, I want you guys to know that I've got a ton of stuff that we're going to be talking about in our next video and the one after that. I've got a lot of stuff to catch up on and a lot of stuff I want to show you guys. So, again, subscribe and share this video, and I will see you all back in just a bit. Stay safe, guys.